Welcome back everyone. Our next character is going to be Cyberman in Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 in Galaxy. But of course guys, if you have not seen from the previous video, we did sell Junior and we were able to get almost every battle. Except for one battle, as you can see here, which is connected to Cyberman. Yes, it's connected to Cyberman in order for us to unlock it. Even if we did all the battles with Cell Jr., we were not able to get that battle from Cell Jr. As you can see here, the only way to unlock it is by going through the route and unlocking it right here with Cyberman. So that's the only way to unlock it, of course, to get the 100% completion. But for right now, for this part of the video, which we're going to call it part A, we are mostly going to focus on just the normal battles all the way up to the boss battle. All right, just that's it. That's all we're going to worry about. For the other routes and the other extra battles, we'll do those in another time or in another video. You know, we'll call it part B. But like I said, since both of these characters are linked with each other, that's how you are able to basically get more battles or some of the battles that are locked away so yeah we're gonna do that first we're just gonna do normal battles all the way up to the boss battle and that's it so hopefully you guys enjoy and right now let's get started with chelsea so yes we're gonna start with chelsea first and this is my post commentary voice guys sorry about that but unfortunately my audio when i was recording this or the original video did not record my microphone so I had it turned off by accident. So yeah, this is just post commentary right now. And of course, a lot of these battles, as you already know, they're going to be very easy and you don't need to do a lot of much. But right now I'm just trying to figure out how to play Cyberman and just get a feel of his buttons, which are not bad at all, I would say, but it's just a lot more different from, of course, so Jr. But of course, most of these characters are going to be like very speed heavy. So. I think doing combos should be fine, but you can already see right now that we're already going to finish with Chelsea. I mean, I don't know what kind of difficulty they try to put so much for these characters, or at least the battles themselves. But if you are mostly going to do easy and normal, at least normal or lower, you should be fine with whatever you have. I mean, you're not going to have a problem at all when battling or fighting any of the other opponents. So as you can see, we have already unlocked the path in order for us to get that other unlockable battle. But we did get five points and then we got Cyberman born the illustration artwork. So that's pretty damn awesome. But again, you could choose whichever route you want to. But for right now, we're just going to focus on going to the boss battle first. So as you can see, we have to fight Yancha and then we are able to unlock the other battle with Cell Jr. So now we have our next battle, which is TN and Piccolo. So it looks like we could do very little damage with our super attack. So this is going to be pretty fun. Okay, we are going to start off with our next battle right here with Piccolo and TN. And again, it's pretty simple, but we have a reduction of our damage with our super attack. So yeah you cannot do a lot of damage with super attacks but you could do ultimate attacks at full damage <laughs> if you want to of course cyberman does have that explosion that he does to your to the opponent which they grab you you know just a bomb basically an explosion bomb but just be careful because if you do not have enough health you're not gonna get a lot of points of course because you need a lot of damage part combos as well to get a very good ranking like ss plus and as you can see there from the three hits from a full beam attack we only got close to 1.5 damage like wow that's like very little for our super attacks i mean i kind of like the you know the little I, I guess you could say like perfect actions or just requirements in order for us to get a little bit more difficulty for some of these battles, but again, unfortunately, like sometimes some of these characters, as you can see with TN, we just did a normal combo and we did over 8k damage or 9k close. So it just feels like, yeah, this could be very fast uh, for its own mode, of course, 
but it's very unfortunate that it doesn't feel like when you are playing like the actual story mode, you know, sometimes the characters or the CPU characters, they get a boost in health, a boost in power, a boost of attack, ultimate or super attacks that do crazy amount of damage and then it cuts into a cutscene or whatever not. And sometimes the battle will end or you will have to continue the battle to defeat the opponent. But again, a lot of these uh, battles right here in Raging Blast 2, too bad. <laughs> it's not story mode like. I mean, it kind of is, as you can see, we do have Tien and Piccolo, which they fought with the Cybermen, of course. But, you know, there's no voice acting, there's no, like, little cutscene story, nothing like that. Just basic one-on-one -on -one combat, which a lot of us should be already familiarized with the Dragon Ball Z game. But again, I was still trying to get a figure <laughs> with Cyberman a little bit, like learning his combos and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if the different types, they have the same combo route. I probably will have to, of course, experiment with that. But hey, we all enjoy the games and even trying to go to the extent of like, you know, try to know every single combo. Like, yeah, that's great. But we all really love, you know, this game a lot because of just you know, the full potential of how crazy the Dragon Ball Z games can be. But again, you know, it's just unfortunately when it comes to story, this is not the best one <laughs> of them all because you're not going to get, of course, those voice acting lines or cussing heavy stories. So your only best bet is just to play the original one, which is Raging Blast 1, in order for you to get a much more better experience. But there we go, we got an A++. I know I could do better, but again, right here, I was just trying to experiment, like how do I do the combos or what are better ways? Of course I could do my ultimate attack, but I would lose my health and I'm not gonna get enough points. So yeah, I just didn't, didn't want to go to that extreme. But of course we got more points for Cyberman right there, eight points, so that's good. And we did get another unlocked hidden uh, battle but of course we do need to play the very last battle which is going to be our boss battle which is Krillin so yeah we went against the enemy who is powered up to the extreme so right now let's get started with that okay our last character right here will be with Krillin so he starts off with high tension so I think it shouldn't be that hard as well for this boss battle but I know probably for sure for the other characters that we are going to play. Maybe they might be typical, Everyone maybe not. But for right now, let's destroy Krillin. And we have high tension on, so let's do our ultimate attack. So the Cyberman bomb. And let's see how much damage we take or he takes. And it's a full wipeout, a full KO. <laughs> so yeah, you could just one shot your whole entire uh, ultimate attack so there we go we got an s plus total ranking but i decided you know what let's try it again let's do a full battle i mean that's what you could do guys like just actually like do your ultimate attack high intention and just one shot all the characters or even just the cpu characters you know just one shot them all the time and you should be good to go with getting any rank you want to well except for of course the bomb explosion characters like Majin Vegeta, uh, Super Boo or Evil Boo, of course Sabaman, or any character that, or also like Chaosu, or just any character that does an explosion that reduces their health all the way to zero. Yeah, you might not want to do that all the time. I mean, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> but again, if you do want to get those top rankings for all the characters, then... I think it's better that you do have some health left because it does uh, count as points. But there you go. We defeated Krillin. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And at the very end, as you can see, we did get an S++. So yeah, if you do more combos, more damage, more health, you should be fine with getting an S++ for the battle itself. So there we go. We got another link. Right there, as you can see, we got Android 19, another link battle that works with each other. 
And then we have Dr. Jero as well. So we kind of have a pattern going here. So our next, oh, we have one more, which is Yancha. And yes, all of these are linked with each other. So whoever has the first battle or whoever unlocks it, you could play whatever character. We got three points for our Cyberman. We got a Dragon Ball, which is nice. And then we have Cyberman's power, the acid attack. And then we got a new character, Barduck. Very weird. Okay. I'm not sure why we unlocked Barduck in this seg second character completion, I guess. But yeah, we unlocked Barduck. So there you go. Uh, I'm not sure it was going to be for the same for everyone, I would say. But there you go. We have unlocked Barduck. So right now, guys, as you can see, we do have the next battle. Well, right next to... The boss battle which is of course vegeta napa we have star at near death but we're going to focus on that on the next video or part b of the video but for right now this is all the battles we have unlocked or the ones that are unlocked and until next time we're going to try our best to do all the b battles or i will say all the other extra battles for seven men and as well for cell jr but of course those battles will link with each other so you should be fine but that's pretty much it guys for part a of seven men so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel for more dragon ball raging blast 2 as well as you some of your friends if you want to see the completion or how things work with galaxy mode share this video with them but as always keep on playing and game for life guys see you later